I'm First Lieutenant John Velasquez, serving here at Fort Wayne, Alaska. I'm an EOD officer. I originally enlisted as an EOD technician, serving for nine years, enlisted, reaching the rank of a staff sergeant. I chose to go through officer in a candidate school because I come from a Army family. My father served in the United States Army, and so did my grandfather, serving two tours in Vietnam. And then during his uh, career, he also chose to go through officer candidate school, and it was something he kept pushing for me, and it was something that I decided to go ahead and pursue. I'm responsible for three teams of three, as well as my platoon sergeant, which gives me a total of 11 personnel within my platoon, to include myself. Of course, with uh, IEDs throughout the world, uh, they're always gonna be changing, and it's gonna be dependent upon the type of equipment, and of course, electronics being updated and uh, new platforms coming up. Uh, things are always gonna change, and that's also a good thing. You never get, never should be stuck doing the same thing over and over again. So we try and go out there with a set, goal, set amount of goals in order to accomplish something and disrupt that IED. But of course, we can't do the same thing every time because every situation is different. So we're constantly changing those in order to accommodate the problem at hand and in the theater with it we're in. Well, every day is fun for me on the job. You come in, you train. Uh, one good thing about us, we're working in such small platoons that we can just build something real quick, go out back and run it. Uh, we can, you know, drive our robotic system, set up a lane for some of our junior soldiers. Our robotic companies try and accommodate the up and coming soldiers. And we also we want a more compact system. We don't want something that's large and you have to haul somewhere with a trailer. So in order to accomplish that, and you just plug in a controller and it'll manipulate the robotic system in different poses and make different actions based on you manipulating that controller. And it's basically like playing video games. So of course with Hollywood, everything is uh, kind of you know exaggerated. It's not always gonna be the red wire or the blue wire or the yellow wire. To be honest, it could be all different kinds of wires that are located within a certain container. But the best part about this job is the unique critical thinking skills and also basic understanding of electronics. In order to make that expert determination on which wire to cut or utilizing a robotics platform in order to drive up to there and disrupt the IED safely. So with EOD, if you like critical thinking, thinking outside the box, and not doing the same minute thing day on, day off, this is definitely the job for you. 